good morning i was literally about to sit um yeah don't mind my hair it'll be fixed better later but it's like 10 a.m almost and i'm about to go downstairs in the hotel and see if they have something to eat if not i'll just maybe get dressed a little earlier than i plan to and then head to the manish aurora fashion show which that's the invitation that i received um the day i arrived here and then in the middle of the night yesterday i got um an email about another fashion show but it was in the middle of my food tour so obviously i couldn't go but it's crazy these last minute invitations when i wish i would have known then i would have planned around them and brought appropriate outfits now i'm like making it work with like the one outfit that i might have that i think will be cute but see you guys downstairs <laughs> All right, back in my room. I would love to go to sleep. It's kind of wet outside, like it was raining. But, it's such a cute little view. <sighs> but I don't think it's gonna rain again, or at least I hope not. I wish this space was big enough so I could have like a little photo shoot right there at the window. But, um, I want to get dressed right now i wish i could take a little nappy nap and a nap means like three more hours of sleep to me for some reason last night i could not get to no yeah i couldn't get to sleep i guess like it took me a little minute whereas the night before like i was dead tired knocked out it's very weird okay so it's time for me to head out to the fashion show all i'm wearing is this banana republic dress that you guys may have seen a couple times these jeans I got from Shein that I cut because they were supposed to be cropped um, and my what is it Sam Edelman mules that everyone's seen I put some light foundation on just because photographs better and my Ruby Woo oh and my little bag from Shein I was gonna wear my black bag but it just was too plain and didn't really seem like it fit so this one that doesn't match at all seems a lot better so Oh, do I want to take my camera? Can I take my camera? Oh, it can't fit in this bag. It doesn't go with the other bag. Oh, I'm going to have to lug it over my shoulder. All right. to the venue or the direction I believe it's in. I forgot my museum pass, I'm so mad. So I'm trying to make my way to the venue. For the second time since I've been here, a bird has shit on me. What the fuck is up with that?
Okay, how cute was that show? I love the bright pastels, bright pastel, but they were, they were like bright colors, but also pastel. Um, so grateful to be able to go and that was like the highlight of my trip so far, pretty cool. One, as I was walking up to like the lookout point, I'm not sure what that area is called, by the Eiffel Tower. No, not by the Eiffel Tower, where you can get good shots of the Eiffel Tower. And um, this old guy was walking up the path as well, and he stopped me. And I think he was Italian, so definite language barrier. I don't know anything other than English. And um, he was like, I'll take a picture of you. You look so beautiful. In his language, I'm assuming that's what he was saying. I, I heard the words, but... um. So he tried to get a photo of me and it was an epic fail because I have my 50 millimeter lens, so very loud. <laughs> so you have to um, focus and he didn't know to do that. He wasn't really grasping that. And uh, so yeah, he got this blurry photo that I think I've already deleted. So that was cute. Didn't get any shots of the Eiffel Tower because there's construction in front of it. So there are huge cranes, uh, two huge cranes right in front of the Eiffel Tower. And um, I have plenty of pictures of the Eiffel Tower and then I get up to the lookout spot and I'm coming down because at this point I'm just walking around nowhere aimlessly and um, the guys who sell those Eiffel Tower keychains for one euro each, uh, he wanted to stop and chat and I'm like no, you know, merci and he gave me one for free. How cute is that? So sweet. Because the first time I was here, I never got one for myself. I never buy souvenirs, but I definitely did not get one of these for myself or anybody. So I'll always have the Eiffel Tower. So clearly I took that part out of my head just now. I wish I thought to do it earlier. Um, glad I came back to the hotel for a little while because this officially does not work. I'm throwing it away. And I have a brand new one at home, but I didn't want to open it. This is going in the trash because I could have been out there again with the dead phone. I am so happy to have followers all over the world. There's one girl that I follow on Instagram. Her name's Miriam. And um, I contacted her when I realized that she was in Paris. Like, she lives in Paris. And I'm looking for my room key. Um, she happened to have this event that she's going to today, tonight, right now, that she said I could tag along to so that's not it oh here it is so yeah that's where i'm about to head out i was dead tired but luckily it's literally a three minute walk for me how perfect is that <music> so the event is over it was like a blogger networking meetup and um it was pretty cool except <laughs> i don't speak french at all so it was mostly me listening which is a good thing like 97 percent of the time and i was there for a few hours um i just sat and listened to the girls talk and we were all bloggers or youtubers hey and um yeah it was really cool so uh, I'll see Miriam again in a few days. I'll see another of the girls um, on Saturday as well, hopefully. And yeah, it was just really cool and something to do. So, voila. So I just got back in my room. Figured I'd try to close out this vlog tonight. I went and got McDonald's. <laughs> I got a Big Mac. It's so crazy how different 
anything will taste in a different country like this is clearly cooked with a different oil maybe it's a different potato i don't know but it tastes different but mcdonald's is universal i love it so yeah good night guys it's like maybe like 11 i, I could be lying here in pelly and um see you guys tomorrow bonsoir